own opinion. That's right. He is not to mix scripture with his own agenda. Amen. The scriptures is pure. Pure. Not to be mixed. That's right. Integrated. Not to add nor to take away from. That's right. Give me the book of Revelation. In the book of Revelation, chapter 22. Chapter 22, and begin at verse 16. 16. I, Jesus. What? I, Jesus. Well, that lets you know who's talking here. That's right. I, Jesus. I've sent mine angel. Where? To testify unto you these things. Hold it. Testified where? In the churches. We're right back at church again. That's right. What is the angel? I am the. Hold it. Mm -hmm. The angel. You have the angels of heaven. And you have angels born of women. That's right. What do you mean? Angel just simply mean messenger. That's right. And the scripture says about attaining angels unaware, meaning you can be attaining a man of God or a servant of God and don't even know it. That's right. Not even aware of it. That's right. So the angel was sent with the message to the church. Mm -hmm. Says what? I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things uh -huh. in the church. What is it? I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the root David. and the offspring of David. Jesus letting you know what line he come from. That's right. Come from the house of David, out of the town of Bethlehem, where David was. Come from the tribe of Judah, who was one of the sons of Jacob. Amen. So he come on out of the tribe of Judah, from the house of David. That's why Jesus is called son of man. That's right. Son of man means son of a prophet. Son of a prophet. Well, who was the father of this prophet? David was. But the Bible says that he come of the throne of his father, David. There shall be no end. The house that Jesus came out of, David was the father of that house. That's right. Listen. I am the root and the offspring of David. And, and the bright and morning star. What else? And the spirit and the bride say come. The spirit and the church. The church is the bride. That's right. God called the world to come to him through the church. And the spirit. The spirit. And the bride. And the bride. Say come. Say come. And let him that hear it say Let come. him that listen, you come. And let him that is a thirst come. If you're thirsty, come. And whosoever will. What? Let him take the water of life freely. What did he say? I testify unto right here. Revelation 22 and verse 18. I testify unto every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If what? If any man shall add unto these things. What will God do to him? God shall add unto him the place that are written in this book. Hold it. This is where churches have drifted away from scripture policy. Mm. God's word is good enough for us. That's right. That's right. But because men are afraid to uh, offend, they don't want to offend their wife, they don't want to offend their sons and daughters, they don't want to offend their blood brothers and their mama and they slap happy grandpappy. Mm -hmm. The preachers, the preachers don't want to offend his second wife. That's right. He don't want to offend his congregational girlfriend. That's right. Am I right? That's right. That's right. And because he don't want to offend, there are certain subjects he will not touch. From which some having swerved. What? From which some having Get swerved. Get for this. In 1 Timothy chapter 1 and we're at verse 6. What is it? From which some having swerved. Get at verse 5. At verse 5. Uh -huh. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart. What else? And of a good conscience. And, and of faith unfeigned. What else? From which some having swerved. Some have swerved. You know sometimes when you're driving, there's something in the road that catch you off guard. You got to swerve and go around it. That's right. The word of God is here and many have swerved went right around it. That's right. They are confronted with the Bible, but they're so stubborn mm -hmm. and they are so loyal to their organization. Let me say this to all of you that are here and you that are watching around the world. There should not be no organization that have your loyalty more than God. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. There shouldn't be an organization under the sun that you're more loyal to than God himself. Anytime you truly stand for God and the organization you're in get wrong, if you are God, you will fight against the organization. That's right. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, yes, you will. Listen. From which some having swerved. They have swerved. Have turned aside. Turned aside. Unto vain jangling. Unto vain jangling. Desiring a, to a, be teachers. A bunch of nothingness. That's right. They desire to be pre to be teachers. Of the law. Of the law. Understanding neither what they say. They don't have a clue of what they're talking about. Nor whereof they affirm. So this is how men have added. That's right. To the scriptures. This is why you have junior elders. Mm -hmm. Junior bishop. Junior Apostles, junior deacons, deaconess. Yeah. You're not even a junior hypocrite. You're just a hypocrite. That's right. 
They have added. If any man shall add the unto these things, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Listen, g- give me Ephesians 4 11, Ephesians and give me 1 Corinthians 12 28. Amen. Let's get the offices of the church. In Ephesians and let's chapter look, 4. Let's look how they have added. We're working on where the apostle taught if you add to these Amen. things, God shall add unto them the plagues that are written in the book, and then we'll show you what they took out the church. That's right. All right, because the Bible dealing with adding and take away. That's right. All right. First in Ephesians chapter 4 and at verse 8. 11. Follow me. And he gave some apostles. Wait a minute. That's what God put in the church. Mm-hmm. He gave some apostles. And some prophets. Some prophets and some evangelists. And apostles, one that God called, God sent, God anointed, God instructed. You can't lay hands on a man and ordain him an apostle. No. Some folks say, well, only to be an apostle, you had to walk with Jesus in the flesh. That's a lie. The apostle Paul didn't walk with him in the flesh. No, he didn't. Paul walked with him in the spirit. By the time Paul came along, Jesus been died and rose and ascended above all heavens. That's right. All right. And he gave some apostles. He gave some apostles. And some prophets. Some prophets. And some evangelists. Some evangelists. And some pastors. Some pastors. And teachers. Teachers. For. For what? The perfecting of the saints. What else? For the work of the ministry. What else? For the edifying of the body of Christ. Now, look how the church have added to that. Mm -hmm. The Bible said he gave some apostles. Some apostles. What else? And some prophets. Some prophets. And some evangelists. Now, what the churches have added to that, they got women evangelists now. Right. Then they lie on the daughters of Philip and say, Philip had four daughters that were evangelists. You old liars. That's right. You religious fakers. The Bible ain't never said that. No. He said he had four daughters that was prophetess. Prophesied. They weren't Prophets. walking around evangelizing and laying hands on people. The pastor's wife is the assistant pastor, which is a bundle of trash from the pits of hell. That's right. Are you listening? And he gave some apostles. He gave some. Some apostles. Some. Some. Not all. Some apostles. And some prophets. Some prophets. A prophet is, listen, a prophet is a messenger of God who tell the four events that's going to come. That's right. And the way you can tell that he's a false prophet is when he speak by his own will, by his own permission, and everything he said, none of it come to pass. That's right. It's amazing how the Lord only talked to these devils during offering time. Amen. Have you noticed that? You go to any old church that's half baked and half done and medium rare. The only time a man feel the Lord talking to him is when the plate is being passed around. Right. Once that plate is gone around and when he see he ain't got enough, right away he get in the fake tongue. He The Lord just spoke to me and told me to tell you there's five more thousands in the house and the Lord said if you give that money he do what you're going to do. And you church suckers. Church suckers. Fall for that hypocrisy. And that's the blessing plan. The blessing plan is plain and simple. The plan is get your money. The blessing is he got your money. That's right. So the only one that get blessed from the plan is the preacher. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? And he gave some apostles. He gave some apostles. And some prophets. Some prophets. And some evangelists. Some evangelists. And some pastors. Some pastors. Now, not the preacher is a pastor or a shepherd and his wife is assistant shepherd. No. No, no. You got to keep it in the order of the doctrine of the apostles. That's right. Now the doctrine of the apostles contradicts every organization. That's right. Any organization started by man, built by man, and promotes the theory of man will always be in contradiction of God everlasting word. That's right. Listen. And some pastors. Some pastors. And teachers. Teachers. For the perfecting of the saints. Wait a minute. These officers were put in the church for what reason? For the perfecting of the saints. When a thing is perfect, it's, it's, it's uh, correct. When it's perfect, it's complete. Mm -hmm. In order for the church to get complete, it take all these officers. That's right. You got to have all these officers functioning in the capacity that's outlined in God's word. No junior, no junior apostles. No, 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 no junior. You ain't got to be being no junior nowhere on the Bahama Islands. That's right. Or nowhere in America or nowhere in Europe. No junior elders, none of that foolishness. No. So this is where religion and organizations have added. added. And the Apostle John tells us in Revelation 22, 18. If any man shall add unto these things. If you add. Any man. 
If you add, if any man shall add unto these if things, if you add everything that's in that Bible, leave it like it is. That's it. If they was all filled with the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost, with the evidence of speaking in tongue at the Spirit of God give utterance, they don't need for you to add another method of receiving the Holy Ghost other than speaking in tongue. That's right. You walking around here, well, I ain't never spoken in tongue. I, I got the Holy Ghost. The only ghost you got in you is the devil himself. Amen. Now, some preachers got a bishop ghost. Hmm. Not the Holy Ghost. Bishop Ghost. What do you mean Bishop Ghost? They only can feel the presence of God when a bishop talk. That's right. That, in other words, if Bishop Ferguson is speaking from God's word, I mean lined up 100% yeah. from God's word, then the Holy Ghost in you will agree to God's word. That's right. But if the people's favorite preacher, <laughs> the people's preacher, that's right. See, you have God's preacher and you got the people's preacher. Yeah. And the people's preacher, he don't preach nothing to offend you. He don't preach nothing to hurt you. This is how you can tell a people's preacher. Yeah. Most time before he sit down from faking. <laughs> What he called preaching. He going to apologize to you for what he said. That's right. He'll tell you, church, I'm sorry if I hurt any of you. If I offended any of you, I apologize. That's the devil's preacher. That's right. God's preacher don't care if he beats you in the ground with the Bible. That's right. God says, preach the word. Preach the word. God didn't say, look at how you feel. No, no. If your wife don't sleep with you that night as a result of the message, then let your bed become anarchica. But you preach the word. Preach the word. Right. Anytime a preacher's wife dictates the pulpit, you're following a false prophet. That's right. The preacher wife have no say so about God's church. That's right. The Bible speaks plain in the 20th chapter of Acts, over which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers. Feed the church of God. 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 Feed them. Feed. That's right. Not cry on your wife because the church won't cooperate. Feed them. Feed, that's right. If they all get up and walk out, go behind them and feed them while they leave. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves. Pay attention, I say. To yourselves. Go and say, God, hallelujah. Go and say, God, unto yourself. And to all the flock. And to all the followers. Over the which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers. The purpose of God putting ministers in the church is for what reason? To feed the church of God. Do what? Feed the church of God. That's why the churches are starving. That's right. God's people, churches, God's people. weak. That's right. Starving. Yeah. They have more entertainment in the church than God in the church. That's right. The churches now have become clubs. Yeah. Praise dancers all on the stage. Half naked women. Yeah. Half gay men. That's right. Preachers who pimp the people. Yeah. Don't preach to the people. They pimp the people. Amen. Only thing the Lord tell them is how to get rich. Mm -hmm. Look at your neighbor next to you. Look at the neighbor next to you. Say, neighbor, it's your time. <laughs> Turn to your left. Look at the neighbor next to you. Look at the neighbor next to you. Say, neighbor, you're the devil. <laughs> Amen. That's right. How did church get this bad? That's right. How did you get this wicked until the so-called church people? It ain't no different than the way you are than your past life yeah. of a sinner. Of a sinner. That's right. Christians smoking. Yeah. Christian drinking. Yeah. Christian partying. That's right. The Christian preacher got two and three wives. Amen. Am I right? That's right. That's right. The preacher knocked up the women in the church and got several women pregnant. Amen. 
Oh, the preacher got to pay some women off so they can shut up in church. That's right. Talk back to me. Amen. Amen. What is the purpose of the church? To feed the church of God. Feed them. Feed the church of God. We travel to Africa and Europe and India and America and Canada and throughout the Caribbean feeding them. Feed, that's right. I don't travel to make friends with nobody. That's right. No, sir. I travel to feed you. Feed, that's right. I ain't come to Bahamas to make friends with nobody. Amen. We come to feed you. Jesus is coming. That's right. Now go with the God. That's right. Jesus Amen. is coming. Oh, yes. Oh, and the church is not ready. 